If your child plays sports, you'll definitely want to pay attention to this next story. New study may take the guesswork out of diagnosing concussions. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says it's all about a blood test. About a quarter of a million kids a year end up in the hospital with concussions from playing sports, and Kate Ratliff was one of them. Kate was diving for a ball recently when she collided with another player. At first, she didn't seem to be seriously hurt. We actually didn't get her checked out right away because she didn't have the symptoms right at the beginning, but a couple hours later, she started vomiting and had a headache. That's not uncommon. Symptoms of a concussion in a child can be subtle and delayed, and the longer it's left untreated, the worse the damage can be. There really is a need to try to detect these injuries early, and with the tools we have now, they're really not sensitive enough to detect all of these injuries. So researchers at Orlando Health have developed a way to detect even mild concussions using a simple blood test. In a recent study, they took blood from 152 children who had brain injuries, then gave each a CT scan. As expected, the scans detected even small lesions on the brain. But so did the blood tests. Biomarkers in the blood identified brain injuries with 94% accuracy, and even told doctors how severe the injuries were. We're looking at different uh, types of lesions we find on CT scan, those that are more severe versus less severe, and the biomarker actually is elevated in the more severe injuries. The test could lead to a device like those used in diabetes, one that would analyze a drop of blood to diagnose a concussion on the spot. The idea is to try to get a point of care test that could be used on the field to help the coaches and the trainers and uh, the athletic directors make a decision about whether the child should go back to play. Now, whenever there's tissue damage, as in a heart attack or a concussion, injured cells release compounds that can be detected with sensitive blood tests. And being able to use this right on the field would be a major plus because going back into a game with a concussion can be very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're working towards, being able to do it on the sidelines. Right. Advance, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Max. You bet.